I love the deep sea. Deep, dark, mysterious creatures. Amazing, awesome. The deep sea. Rob and I went to Roatan, Honduras, and we met up with a guy named Carl Stanley who built his own submarine. And he agreed to let us go down with him. Right, so let's go diving. Well, I was kind of afraid because I, I didn't want to see anything that we could get caught in because that was the, that's the biggest fear. And I did see a net. But then the net sort of got me to thinking later on about the fact that uh, I wonder if most people know that the deep sea needs to be protected. Yeah, it's not something that you think of intuitively because it's really far away and you don't think that anything that people could do would really affect it, but there are things that can affect it. Now, there have been some misconceptions about the deep sea in the past, mainly that nothing lived in the deep sea, that have caused some people in the past to make some really boneheaded blunders. So here are some of the things that people have done in the past that have affected the deep sea. Number one, dumping waste into the ocean. Dumping waste. Well, they thought there was nothing there, that it wouldn't harm anything, so they dumped waste. Now, the London Dumping Convention, awesome name, they decided they'd put the kibosh on that, so no more ocean dumping. Number two, mining. mining. Ever since that first Challenger expedition in 1872, people have been trying to mine manganese from the ocean. Fortunately, it's really hard to get to the deep sea and very expensive to learn how to mine something at 4,000 to 6,000 feet. So, that one's a freebie. The last thing that's still affecting today is people are trawling. Bottom trawling. Trawling is where a boat with big chains puts big heavy doors, like five ton doors on either side, and attaches a net on rollers between those and scrapes the bottom of the ocean. So anything that's on the bottom of the ocean, they're all gone. And these are nets the size of football fields that can sort of just whoosh, wipe everything away. So even though it's a very few number of these, it can have a really big effect on the ocean. I don't mean to be a downer about this because I love the deep sea, I just thought you should know because I really didn't understand that there was a way to harm the deep sea. I don't really have a solution for this because there are rules and regulations in place that say you're not supposed to trawl and rip up all of these things, but it's really hard to enforce. But this is part of learning about the deep sea, so we thought you should know. <laughs>